and final awardee is a modern day prophet. I would like to think that his training as a divinity student and a journalist, allied with his inqu inqu inquisitive character, positioned him well to convey messages of monumental, even historic, importance. Coming of age at the onset of the environmental movement, the Honorable Al Gore grasped the value of scientific and mathematical theories as a college student and used his stature in Congress and later as vice president and private citizen to wake up America, to call attention to the front burner technological issues. He did not only foresee the power of the internet, the saving of lives from biomedical research, and the perils of human-induced climate change, but was willing to face his harshest critics to bring the facts forward in the, in, in the, the context of controversy and inform the world citizen. I would like to invite now to the podium the one person who may know him best, Karina Gore, his daughter. Karina is the, is the director of the Union Forum and Global Justice Partnership at Union Theological Seminary, who has the presence here this evening, Union. She is at work on numerous issues, but I have crossed paths with her, along with the rest of the Interfaith Center, in the context of engaging how do we gauge religious leaders in, uh, in um, preparation for the upcoming UN Climate Conference next September on the 21st. And how do we get uh, religious leaders from around not only our city but around the world really engage in what is a monumental moment when it comes to addressing climate change. So Karenna, if you could come up here and introduce your father.